Do you ever feel that you're stuck in like a constant tug of war between shredding those stubborn pounds or packing on muscle mass? Well, today I'm breaking you free from that cycle. I've seen so many people struggling whether they should cut or bulk and they usually find themselves standing in front of a mirror grappling with the decision whether to prioritize their fat loss or their muscle gain. So just know you're not alone. But you have to do something. You can't just flip flop back and forth between cutting or bulking because you're gonna make no progress and get no bitches. <laughs> One week my brother's cutting and the next week he's bulking. He, and he hasn't made any progress in like three years. I tell him exactly what he needs to do, but he just doesn't follow it. So don't make the same mistake as him and flip flop between cutting and bulking. So I'm going to tell you what I did to achieve my physique and also going to walk you through the steps to what I would do if I had these three specific body types. So I started out being skinny, but I was shredded. My whole life, my dad always had me lifting weights or doing some form of like MMA. So I was always pretty shredded and he had me working out since I was like five or six years old. And my sophomore year of high school is when I started actually trying to like get things right with the nutrition and the training. And I hit like a 185 bench press my sophomore year of high school. And I looked pretty good, but junior year came and I saw all these dumb fucking influencers on TikTok all telling you, bro, just do a bulk. Get as big as you can, bro. Just bulk up, eat everything. And that's exactly what I did. And I bulked up and I got to around 170 pounds, something like that. And then my anxiety and stuff like that were so bad. Every time I would eat, I would just like puke or something. And then because it started to get worse and worse, I lost like eight, 10 pounds and I got down to around 160. So then my senior year, I got tired of it. And I was like, man, fuck this shit. So I literally just started shoving my face. I didn't care if I puked. I would be puking and then I would just go eat another meal. I didn't care. And I bulked up to around 181 pounds. And dude, I look like shit. I was a little fat fuck. And there's no difference between me and an actual fat fuck. The only difference is I bench press and they don't bench press. So our organs are exactly the same. Our health is exactly the same because I was eating like a fat fuck. I just bench press. So ooh, I'm bulked. Uh. And then I got into modeling and it took me down to 148 pounds and I'm six foot one. So I bulked up to 181 and cut down all the way to 148 pounds. I literally bulked for no reason. And then after I'm done with modeling, I got out of it and now I did a bulk back up and I bulked up to around 175. And now my current weight is 165 to 170. So if you happen to find yourself on the slimmer end of the spectrum, like with me, I was 148. Undertaking a lean bulk strategy is not just a suggestion. It's literally necessary. Let me stress this point. Do not, under any circumstances, bulk like there's no tomorrow. And don't do what I did. You should aim to gain around half a pound to one pound per week. Trust me, recklessly packing on two to three pounds a week, it, it, you're literally signing up for a rapid transformation that can only describe as like a shapeless fucking blob or something. You don't wanna look like that. And it's literally gonna happen in like two or three months if you start putting on a bunch of fucking weight. So don't do that shit. Cause bro, I promise you, it's literally not all sunshine and rainbows. I get it, you see the scale go up in the morning and you're like, oh fuck yeah, I gained two pounds, four pounds this week. Give that six weeks and you're gonna look in the mirror and you're gonna want to step in front of a bus. Cause it literally, you're gonna hate the way you look. So if you do that, Say goodbye to the abs. Say goodbye to the slim face. And also, any chance of getting bitches. Because bitches aren't going to want you. When I was that fat, I wasn't fat, but when I was bulked up, literally, I got no girls. No girls. But now, I got a beautiful girlfriend now. She's pretty fine. I'm not going to post her on social media ever because I don't want her fucking face being everywhere. Now let's dive deeper into lean bulking. It's not just about mindlessly consuming like a bunch of calories in hopes of adding mass or something. No, my friend, it's a delicate dance between caloric surplus and quality nutrition. Like I said, half a pound to one pound a week. You see, if you go on a lean bulk, the goal is not to just gain weight. It's to build lean quality mass while you minimize the fat gain. You have to strategically increase the amount of calories you consume. That way you can only put on muscle and you limit the fat gain. Lean bulking is extremely calculated. It's not just a game. Every week you have to be like, okay, I gain quarter pound this week. Okay, I'm gonna increase my calories by 100. All right, pool, I gain half a pound this week. Next week, I wanna gain one pound. Okay, I increase the calories by 200. Okay, boom, I gain, have one, gain one pound. Everything's calculated in fitness. So now you're asking Landon, how do I determine the calories that I need? You're gonna go and you type in Google calorie calculator and you're gonna put, input your height, weight, activity level, all this stuff. And it's gonna tell you what you need to maintain your weight, to gain half a pound a week, one pound a week, and you're gonna follow those. Now, me personally, I recommend 100 to 300 calories 
calories a day. And that's just like a modest surplus. You don't want to do 500 to 1,000 calories a day because you're just going to get fat. But also, you have to remember, it's not about the calories you intake. It's about the quality of your foods. Think lean proteins, complex carbohydrates, and healthy fats, and plenty of fruits and vegetables, things like this. If you eat 1,000 calories of Cheerios and 1,000 calories of Oreos, sure, you'll be under your caloric deficit or you'll be above it, whatever, but you're going to look like shit because you just had only carbohydrates and sugar. So you need to make sure you're getting in, you know, 30% protein, 45% carbs, 30% fat, all this stuff. Now, if you find yourself between the line of skinny and fat, commonly referred to as skinny fat, then the name of the game is main gaining. So skinny fat is a common predicament with people when they have more fat than they want, but they don't have enough muscle that they want. So they'll have like a little higher body fat percentage, you know, perhaps they'll store a lot of fat here. They don't know what to do. And I'm saying main gaining. This is what main gaining is. This means that you eat 100 to 200 calories below your maintenance. So you're going to go to the website, blah, 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 find out your maintenance, and you're going to eat 100 to 200 calories below that. And what that's going to do is it's going to gradually chip away your fat, and also you're going to build muscle at the same time. It's just very important to eat 35 to 40% protein. And with the training, it's all kind of the same. You all have to train really hard. You have to push your limits. You have to get rid of any of the pussy training, all that bitch training. Get rid of it. You can't go into the gym and just go through the emotions and stuff like that. You have to push your limits. There's going to be a free workout program in the description of this video. All you have to do is go to the link and click, I don't need help. And then you can get the free program instantly. Now let's cover if you're fat, if you're fat, you're probably around 25% body fat or higher. And me personally, what I'm going to say is, is like very controversial, but if I was 25% body fat or higher, I would only care about preserving muscle. And honestly, I wouldn't even care that much. I would go into the gym and I would do cardio five days a week, six days a week. Now, maybe I I would do a little bit of strength training mirror two or three times a week, but it wouldn't be my main goal. My main goal would just to be to shred off all that fat. And with the dieting, you're going to want to do 500 to a thousand calorie deficit every day. And with a thousand calorie deficit, most people be like, bro, you're starving yourself. That's the name of the game. It's cutting. It's going to be hard. You're going to starve. You're going to be fatigued. Everything's going to be hard. You're going to be tired all the time, but it's part of it. I wouldn't recommend anything above a thousand calorie uh, deficit because that's just extremely unhealthy. And as a coach, I can't, re I can't recommend that. And honestly, cutting is probably one of the hardest things. It's doesn't come without its challenges. It requires discipline, dedication, and the willing to make sacrifices. You know, when you go out with your friends, you can't get a big, you know, steak and a big potatoes and all this stuff. No, you have to get chicken and a salad or something like that. You're going to experience hunger, cravings, and moment, moments of weakness along the way. But you have to understand with cutting and all progress in the gym, it's all a linear graph. So you're going to do this. You're going to come up. Oh, the whiteboard's going to fall over, but you're going to go up and then you're going to come down. You're going to have a cheat meal. Then you're going to go up. Then you're going to come down and have a cheat meal. Then you're going to go up. But what you can't do is just have two, four, five, six cheat meals every week because then you're just going to do a straight line. But you have to, like I said, it's linear. You're going to go up over time. It's like a stock market graph. In conclusion, when you're trying to lean bulk or main gaining whatever, the key to success in fitness is strategy, consistently, and patience understanding what your body needs and all this stuff. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure that subscribe button. Also, there's a free link in the description for a free program. Also, Fitness Academy is literally completely free. It's just a group of like-minded men. Join the freaking school, whatever. I'll see you guys later.